Feral hog damage on district lands is very significant. This is the Upper Hills Road Preserve in Pasco County. Damage like this impacts thousands of acres every year on district lands. What they're doing is they're turning up the soil, looking for roots, mulebills, acorns, worms, grubs, any other critters they can get. They are omnivores, so they eat both plants and animals. I am Chris Reed. I'm the land management section manager at the Southwest Florida Water Management District. Feral hogs are rooting up natural areas, especially our river swamps, our ephemeral ponds, our marshes. We're even seeing this damage on our canals and levees. This rooting leads to water quality issues as far as runoff. Usually we have the vegetation, especially the grasses, the forbs. They kind of hold the soil together and they actually trap and filter sediment when we have surface water runoff. Without those grasses and forbs in place, all the soil is eroding away and going down into our wetlands, into our streams, impacting water quality. This feral hog rooting disrupts the natural system. It can actually change the vegetative structure of our wetland systems, it leads to a serious invasive exotic plant species infestation. The district is trying to keep the feral hog population at bay by holding feral hog hunts. And additionally, we do have staff that does trap hogs. So in addition to the rooting of the feral hogs, the damage they cause to natural systems, they also carry a variety of diseases. Some of these are zoonotic diseases, which means they can be transmitted to humans. These feral hogs, they don't belong to the district. They are public animals. They belong to whoever's yard they are in. Folks cannot feed the wildlife, especially the hogs. That would help a lot. So as land managers, when we come across these areas in our natural systems that are churned upside down, we get pretty aggravated because we know what the consequences can be as far as the impacts to the natural system. District staff are working hard to control the feral hog population so the public can enjoy recreating on these district conservation lands in their natural state.